Good morning, House of Prayer. This is Sharon, and I'm here to give you God will implement his act of salvation given to Bertha Dude on 11 25, 1962. Nothing will prevent me from implementing my eternal plan of salvation, for my love and wisdom have realized from the start when it is necessary to manifest my power or restructure my work of creation called earth by virtue of my might and this time will be adhered to for that which I realize to be necessary will also be carried out by me for people's low spiritual level necessitates this change since this almost cannot be surpassed anymore and thus the day which was designated for eternity is not far away anymore. All that needs to be done now is to provide people with the greatest possible help so that those who accept it will be still be saved. Yet no one should think that he can persuade me to abandon my eternal plan of salvation. Although I will always grant heartfelt prayers as I have promised but you should not pray for the prevention of the last judgment on this earth because this act is purely an act of love on my part and you should never prevent me and my activity of love for I know that a complete transformation is necessary both for you humans as well as all the spiritual substances which are still bound in the creations and which should strive to ascend. But if you pray for prevention, then you are only motivated by selfish love because you neither want to forgo your earthly life nor your earthly possessions. If, however, your love aims in the right direction so that it belongs to me, and your neighbor, then your spirit will be sufficiently enlightened so that you will be able to realize that this last judgment is an act of love on my part. Then you will recognize the low spiritual level yourselves and you will know that I must rise to a change in order to save what still can be saved. I have indeed always referred to this last end, yet never mentioned a time to you, and even now I will not inform you of the precise time, but you can be assured that my proclamations will soon fulfill themselves, that you will not have time left, much time left until the end of the earth, that you are very close to it, and when you pray, then only pray that maybe people still become enlightened, that they take the path to the cross, so that the hour of the end will not mean their downfall, but the attitude for them. Try to explain the commandments of love to all people. Try to motivate them into changing their life their love into unselfish love for their neighbor. And you will truly pray correctly when you pray to help for the people close to you which have not yet gained realization themselves. But do not think that prayer campaigns will be able to, to determine me and my will not to accomplish my plan of salvation. For it is really would not be an act of grace. Instead, my adversary would merely increase the number of his adherents, and even my own would be at risk of being plunged into ruin by him. Believe that I love and wisdom only ever want what is the best for my living creations. That even this day, this last judgment is not an act of punishment on my part, but
but only a judgment of that which has completely left my order. I want to restore the order which was revoked through human will, through my adversary's influence, so that even my living crea creation's process of return is at risk. My plan of salvation only ever intends to return to the fallen beings to me. However, you humans lack the overall view, the correct realization, and neither do you know to what depth the human race has sunk already, and that therefore the point in time has come that its fall will have to be stopped that the souls will have to be rest for my adversary again and banned anew, so that one day they will have the opportunity once more to start on the return path to me, which they forfeited in this life on earth, which they failed to make use of and are therefore lost again due to their own fault. But my adversary will not keep them in his control, and that is the plan for the fallen soul already, which has to pass through the creations of the new earth in a dissolved state again. You humans are unaware that I am only ever determined my love because one day you shall become my own again, and only see the punishing God in me. Yet you have created this punishment yourselves through your inclination towards matter, which has become your downfall. You have aspired towards this fate yourselves, for matter belongs to my adversary. Thus you voluntarily handed yourselves over to his authority and he will hold on to you until I myself wrest you away again from him, which will happen through a banishment into hard matter, but which, at the same time, will be the start of your ascent from the abyss to the pinnacle again. All this will be said to you time and time again, and therefore prepare yourselves for an end of this earth, and do whatever it takes to detach yourself from the one who wants to ruin you. Come to me, and truly, I will help you to resist him. Then you need not fear the end, which will irrevocably come as I proclaim to you. Amen. Second Peter 3, 9 the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promises as some understand slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Amen.